In this presentation, we will categorize the payroll payments. We will be for more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. Taking a look at option one, which will be that we have some other third party, such as Paychex or ADP, who is actually processing the payroll. We saw the payroll in the process and we asked about it in our open items to see what those checks were. Now we're just going to recategorize what those checks are payroll. If you're following along with our three different files here, this is going to be the simplistic file. So when we open up QuickBooks, you want to, I'm going to go into our folders. I'm going to go into the QuickBooks data files, and this is going to be option one, the easy option. We'll provide some backups too. So if you wanted to go back and just go to the backup files and restore to this presentation, uh, the, the QuickBooks file to this presentation to follow along, you can do so. But we're going to go through the QuickBooks here and we're going to open up this file this is going to be the easy way file. Here we are on the home page. We've got the open windows open. You can open the open windows by going to the view drop down and selecting the open windows list. Now we're going to go in and find those payments. Now note in our open items, when we asked our client, here's our open items for week uh, one or month one, when we enter this information in January, we had this open item for Adam and Erica Robertson. So we got that information. We said, who are they? Are they paychecks? Are these payroll people? And we got the answer back saying, yes, you know, we process payroll. Some other third party QuickBooks or someone helps us to process the payroll. And this, that's the payroll check. Do we need to know the gross pay, the net pay, the withholdings? No, because we're doing the simple method. We're just going to reallocate this information to uh, the payroll expense. So all we have to do is locate those checks now. So I'm going to minimize this and say where to find those checks and how do we reallocate them. So we'll open our two main reports, those being the balance sheet and income statement, our financial statements. We'll go to the reports drop down. We'll go to the company and financial. Let's take a look first at the balance sheet. Balance sheet. And we can type in, I usually like to have the range because if you type in the range, then when we, we double click and zoom, we'll be able to find things. So it's gonna be 010119. Let's go to 0. Uh, 13119, the first month. So January 1st to January 31st, because we're looking at that first month here. So we'll say OK. Now it's more difficult for us to find this information here because we only have the checking account. And if we go into the checking account and double click, we're going to see all this information. Now we can find it because we listed it out in our open items. Here it's check number 1027 and 1028, and we, we gave ourselves the date, or sometimes we would be nice if we did that. But if we scroll down, we could find them here, and that's not a problem, but it probably would be easier to find it on the income statement, the other side of things. So let's do that and see why. So if I close this back out, the income statement or profit and loss is what we will go to now. Reports drop down. We're going to go to the uh, company and financial and the profit and loss standard, also known as the income statement. We'll change this to 01. 0119 to 0131.19. So for the month of January. And why is this easier? Because we, we recorded all the checks to the other side, to the income statement side of things, to this uncategorized income, which should have less things in it. And all of these things are things we need to recategorize. We that's why they're there. This should be zero after we're done with the process. So if we double click on this, probably easier to find it here. Here here they are. So we've got Adam and Erica. And the easy method, all we got to do is just double click on this item and it'll not open the register, but the check. Notice if we were to find this on the register, we could do so as well by going to banking, use register. It just, it opened directly into the check register and we could find these checks on the check register at the end of January. It could probably just go back up here and there's, there's Adam and there's Erica. So same thing here, if we double clicked on any of these, on this check, we would get the same check as this check. So if we just double click on it, we, we could find that. And all we need to do is just say, okay, I don't want it to go to uncategorized. I want it to go to payroll expense. Now, if we scroll down here, we may or may not have payroll expense depending on the, the type of setup we set up when we set up the system. In our case, we do, we have payroll expense here. If we do not, then you can then you could set up the, the payroll expense. Usually for most of the systems that you have, unless you explicitly tell QuickBooks that you do not have payroll, 
they'll set up the payroll account. One reason is because they like to keep asking you if you want to purchase the added payroll component of it. So we're going to say, yeah, payroll, that's the one we want. And that's all we have to do. And we'll just say save and close, probably easier, save and close down here. You have changed the transaction. Do you want to record the change? Yes. And notice other accounting software may not let you record changes like QuickBooks does. This is not like the most proper thing to do to go back in and change things. But we set up the process to do that by putting it into uncategorized funds in the first place. That's how the system we set up works. So just be aware of that. If you go into an accounting department and, you know, they're not going to be, we shouldn't, a full cycle accounting department wouldn't be really deleting things and changing things. We would have to make another entry <laughs> to adjust it. But under this system, as long as we know what we're doing and have the timing done well, that's how it's set up. So that's how the system works. So we're going to go back here to the transactions then transaction reports in the open windows and you'll see that that one just disappeared it went away if we close out the transactions and go to the profit and loss open windows then where did it go uh, it went into the payroll expense so if we double click on payroll expense there's that item so it's as easy as that so we're just going to close this back out and we'll do the same thing for for the next one so i'm going to double click on uncategorized and we've got Eric Eric uh, Robinson here. That's the other one. That's a payroll. We're going to double click on it. And we'll just rename this and from uncategorized to payroll expense. And payroll expense. Save and close. And yes. And close it. So now she disappears from this one. Like magic. And we close this back out. And she has now reappeared in a completely different location into the payroll expenses so if we double click there there's erica so we so that's all we have to do and, and that's every time we find where we want to cat just close that out every time we find where we want to categorize these we'll just recategorize them and that's how that's how we will adjust this until this gets back down to zero now we have the same items for the february so let's do the same thing for o two o one one nine o two o one one nine uh, 022819, let's say, February 1st to February 28th, and then go back into these uncategorized. These are the uncategorized items for February, which we would think payroll would repeat itself. And so there we have Erica and Adam again. So I'll just double click on that item, and we're going to say uncategorized is now going to go to, I'm just going to type in this time payroll. It'll populate for us. Tab, save and close yes and then he disappeared adam disappeared erica's going to do the same thing double click on it erica knows how to do the disappearing thing too we're going to go to uncategorize and just say payroll and say save and close and then erica should disappear as she did do so and so we'll close that back out and we'll go back into the payroll expense and there's those two items there so that's how we will reallocate Easy method, easy as that once we have that. Now we'll, we'll take a look at the full payroll and the more complex method, mainly not because I'm suggesting in this kind of simplified bookkeeping that we want to take that on, but because we, we want to see just what the difference is between those two methods. What does it look like to have the full method and to have gross pay versus net pay and how it'll basically net out uh, and you know what the problems and benefits will be of having a more simplified method here. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.